right, coming up next, it's a featherweight tilt between Max Holloway and Brian T-City Ortega. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Ortega is one year his senior. Holloway is three inches taller. The reach is identical. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Brian T. City Ortega! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blast Holloway! Okay guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. T-City was undefeated, D.C. the first time they met. Not so much for the second goal. No, because he got it handed to him by Max Holloway in fight number one. But in taking that beating, Brian Ortega understands that he has to be well-rounded. He has to go in there with the mindset that he cannot allow Max Holloway to get going. I think it's there. It's there. Go. Big kick land. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to chase that finish down now. So fight a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Jack hurt him a little bit. And now he lands a combination. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Holloway's got the full mount. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Usual suffocating work from the top here by Holloway. Oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. So 37 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. 
Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Oh, nice high kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, what a punch. Big right hand. Both guys landing with conviction now. Beautiful right hand. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. All right, here we go with our second round. It is Max Holloway versus Brian Ortega. Huge block there. Holloway gets caught with that punch. Oh, hurt. A oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, big head kick there. Boy, top up. Right punches there. Well, as usual, Max Holloway punches and bunches, putting it all here together. I'm just not sure how much more volume his opponent can take. Nice. Ortega's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Straight right is there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. 59 total strikes have landed for Max plus Holloway. Landing with 55% accuracy against Brian Ortega. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. He's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out of it. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got... Oh! That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Anik. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by T-City, Brian Ortega. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Elbow lands for him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh! Huge right hand! So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal 
And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And they separate. Straight punch lands. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Ortega's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Lands with the ground and pound here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. 98 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left. Slips the punch. Blocked. Oh, he's low. Oh. And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes. What a fight. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Max Blast Holloway. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? It's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.